Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching your technical sparring channel. Friends, in our DLP series, we, today we are going to learn how to configure DLP notification. And very much thanks for your question. Because I know that multiple people has you know this issue that uh, they are not able to configure DLP notification very effectively. So that is what I'm going to you know cover in this video. So that as and when you will configure a DLP notification, you will get more actionable events on your email. So how we can configure that? So let me show you step by step. Okay, so for that, let's log in into the EPO console. Sign in. And before I begin, let me just walk you through once with our policy, whatever we have configured. For now, let me delete this temp policy because we have almost completed the configuration. So this is the primary policy which is applied to my this machine okay now let me just select notification here see technical spark dlp policy if i go inside this then there this is the rule set let's open that as well and see these are the rules which i have configured why i am showing you guys because this is going to help you while creating the policy so if you want you can take the screenshot of this policy one is like your data protection device control discovery so just take us you know and keep note of all the policy okay now to configure the your email notification very first thing guys you will have to do is go to the menu and uh, visit server setting and here make sure that your email server is configured see right now i don't have smtp that's why i haven't configured but make sure your email server is configured okay guys now let me cancel this and once you have configured the email server now then there is a one test email option will come once you save the configuration so that is also you will have to test so that you know you will be very sure that you are receiving emails on your email id now the next thing uh, in the configuration you will have to do is visit the dlp incident manager and directly go to the incident task under incident task visit automatic mail notification and right now as you could see there is no configuration available by default which means we have to configure the rule so to configure the rule click on action and then new rule let me give you one name like email notification you can give any name here guys there is no need to worry about this but the major thing is you will have to make sure you are properly providing the subject name okay after this um, just validate that this the you know state has been enabled and how exactly you are uh, you want to process the events process event that occurred after the last run of this particular email notification or you want to process all the events which is in database so i'll always recommend to process you know select the first option now second thing once your configuration is done if you want you can you know uh, store this as a template okay you just have to give the name once your entire configuration you know recipient subject body everything is selected just click on save so that it will create one new template and later on when you create you know going to create new rule similarly you just you, instead of giving name and other stuff you just have to select that particular template from this drop down menu and you will get all the information filled then just change the subject line and in next window you will have to uh, configure the criteria okay uh, you know under the form uh, you will have to enter the email id which you have entered in email server configuration to send the notification okay for example, let me give you a name like DLP admin then technical spark. So this is how you know you have to enter all the information. Now next is to whom you would like to send this email notification. Directly you want to send this notification to user, manager or reviewer. So this first two things will be captured from the AD. If you have you know entries properly configured while creating the Active Directory ID. Second thing, a reviewer means when your SOC team or InfoSec team reviews your DLP incident, they you know usually uh, tag their name uh, in next to that particular incident. So that is what it's a reviewer. And the fourth one is others. So in our situation, we are going to choose other. And from three dots, we are going to you know select that particular user. This is how. Done. Okay, guys and if in case if you are not able to say any email id here then to get the results what we will have to do is simply go to the menu and then users tab and whatever the users are present there make sure you have entered their email id as well okay this has to be done while creating the user 
now next is subject so what is that is subject you will have to let's say i'm configure this particular notification for my cloud protection rule so let's enter here like cloud protection and then uh, rule violates violated by and here let me choose user principal name insert on computer and here we'll choose computer host name insert so guys this is how you can configure your subject line and there is a multiple options are available you can make use of them now in body what we can do hi team dlp has detected an incident for policy and then we'll select the policy name here with rule and here we'll select rule name insert thanks okay so this is how you know you guys i just wanted to give the idea that how exactly this thing uh, you know you can configure so uh, this is just an example okay so you can modify your matter as per your requirement once you are done then these are some evidence related information which you have to you know choose so what i'll want is attach csv file with evidence list information so you can choose this option and if you require the actual evidence file also then you can choose these other options just go through with this ones and you are done then what is the email size so 5mb 10mb for now i'm just keeping 5mb so similar way you can also keep the 5mb and later on you can modify that as per requirement again additionally if you want you can put here some kind of description once this is done then go to the next in here i will you know configure some criteria like rule rule name and as we said talk about earlier that I, this is particular rule i am going to create for a cloud protection you will get all the rule information here okay now click on okay additionally if you want to filter out you know or trigger this for a particular department which has a unique ip range or computer name okay so there is a multiple options available like copy direction actual action so when exactly you want to you know get this notification so let's say i want this particular email notification when there is a, some block happens under cloud protection okay guys so once you are done with the, all the configuration click on save and see my rule has been configured so this is how you can simply configure your email notification this is just one example okay but if you want you can configure multiple email notification here okay now hopefully the things are pretty much clear with you and if you ever suspect okay i am getting lots of false positive then you can always go ahead open the email notification and make the changes in role criteria under this so that you will get more accurate data on the email so hopefully this automatic email notification things are clear with you now i'll move to the second step okay for that you will have to go to the menu and then server task here is this server task under automation so click on that and here we'll select new task and let me give this particular uh, task name as a dlp email notification once done click on next here i'll choose you know keep this as a run query and for this go to the terrace group and here are a couple of options available exactly like when you want to receive the email for what purpose let's say you would like to receive email for policy distribution so that is also you can choose as well as uh, policies yeah policy assignment whenever any user assign this particular you know uh, policy to the client client task or applied policies by policy name so these are the couple of options which you can always choose for so for now i'm just selecting policy distribution okay and then what is the sub action so sub action would be i want this particular uh, you know information file on the email so select that enter your recipient you can manually directly enter or you can simply click on three dots and choose that user okay you can enter multiple email ids here guys now how exactly you would like to get this particular file so in csv file that would be more appropriate and under subject line you can you know uh, mention something like uh, about this particular rule information like dlp policy distribution email notification once done then click on next and the next uh, ticket that where is when exactly you would like to receive so daily hourly likewise so let's say i would like to receive this particular email notification daily at 9 am okay and then click on next 
review all the configuration and click on save so friends these are the you know uh, primary you know method through which you can configure your email notification see it's enabled now although it will get failed because i don't have esmdb configured but yeah this is how you can configure your email notification so just go ahead and test all the you know both the things which i have shown but before that make sure your email server has been properly configured under epo server so guys once you're done with your configuration just let me know in the comment box below that how exactly this thing works me as well as our other audience will you know be very interested to hear out from you and guys in our next video i'm going to cover queries and reports like how effectively you can configure your dlp queries as well as reports so as always if you found this video useful then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe and very important <laughs> for the new users if you are watching my videos for very first time then please click on the you know subscribe button and enable the bell icon so that whenever i'll upload new videos you will get my notification as soon as i'll upload the you know publish the videos it's completely free for you guys and i really expect that you guys should subscribe to my channel because i'm you know spending lots of my time in recording as well as editing the video and make them available free for you instead of udemy or other you know paid social channels so that's it for this video this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye